Starting with Saturday's mail, Lewis, what have they got? Well, good news in the mail. Oh. Um, Iranians recruit pilgrims to spy in Britain. UK Muslims told to target British Jews and Tehran critics when they get home to Britain. And uh, this is uh, because the Iranians are Shias. They're asking other Shias. They're Shia Muslims and they're Sunni Muslims. Mm. And they hate each other because Islam is the religion of peace. <laughs> and uh, and uh, there are 400,000 Shias in the UK. And some of them go to this place called Kar Karbala, which is in Iraq, right. for pilgrimage. Supposedly 20 million go a year. Wow. And they're asking. And why this is news that the Iranians are spying on Brit Britain. But this this is more than spying. And this is, I mean, we've seen a huge influx of, yeah. uh, of immigration from uh, the Muslim world into the UK. And this is this is some of the blowback from So that. who are they supposed to ask to spy? Of course they're going to ask their own people to spy. Of course they're going to ask that. Yeah, but I mean... I uh, you say, How of is course, that news? This wasn't, this wasn't, I mean, Nick, this wasn't presented to us. When Tony Blair yeah. decided to, right. to liberalise and open the borders, he didn't say, oh, this is going to be great because we're going to have lots of Iranian spies in here threatening right. Jews and threatening, uh, threatening uh, dissident, Iranian dissidents. Yeah, well, no, he didn't say, it would have been fair, but he said, yes, your cleaner will be cheaper, but you will be spied on by hostile regimes who want to kill you. <laughs> that would have been fair. Yeah, so they've got in the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, and this is being sold as a positive by a Whitehall source here says, well, look, this is because it's very difficult for Iranian spies to operate on British soil. So we're doing such a good job of shutting down Iranian spies. We have to get this import, radical Islamic... <laughs> got to import Iranian spies. I mean, that's one positive, I suppose. It's, it's but, a tenuous positive. But you know that. what? I don't know what people are worried about. Because first of all, on the priority of targets and who this they're going to kill, it's Jews first. Screw the Jews. And then Israeli embassies, then British officials. There are very few British officials. Yeah. And then probably Christians. And you people don't think you're Christians, so you think you're safe. But I mean, as a Jew, does this, does this worry you? No, because we've had to live with this for years. From what I've heard is, and I, I'm trying to remember who told me this, I think, is that a third of all Jews have already left the country. Wow. They can spell the writing on the wall. So um, wh where have they gone? To, to Israel? They've gone all over different places where there's opportunities. Probably not Iran. I don't, I don't, have, the, I don't have the details. But uh, it's, it, does it worry me? Uh, we're, so, we're so past worrying. <laughs> you're a lot more relaxed than I thought you'd be. If Josh was here, this would be a very different story. You're, like, <laughs> you're yeah. quite chilled about it. I'm more of a Jew than Josh is. <laughs> I, I, you yeah, know what? As somebody who's, who's not a Jew, does this worry you? Because of course this, it's worrying. This, this worries me. I, 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 I categorise this under sort of shocking but not surprising. It's like, I want to <laughs> yeah. know I wanna how much discount they've got on their council houses. You know what I mean? Because we're so used to this stuff now. This is so standard. Yeah. You're, just, yeah. you're just like, OK, yeah, Hamas live in Barnet. These yeah. people are spying on us all, all day. Yeah, of course, it's ridiculous and absurd, but we're, it's sort of too late. As Lewis says, it's, yeah. it's too late to even be shocked by anything. Well, yeah. Hamas are basically the militant wing of Barnet Council at this point. <laughs>